Belarus is a landlocked country located in Eastern Europe, bordered by Russia to the northeast, Latvia to the northwest, Lithuania to the north and northwest, Poland to the west, and Ukraine to the south and southeast. It is located at approximately 53 degrees north, 28 degrees east and covers an area of 207,600 square kilometers, 80,200 square miles. The country has a moderate climate with warm summers and cold winters. The landscape is characterized by flat or rolling terrain, with forests and numerous rivers and lakes. The country's highest point is Gyrzhinskaya Hara, which is 342 meters 1,123 feet above sea level. As of 2021, the estimated population of Belarus is 9.5 million people. The country is relatively densely populated, with most of the population living in urban areas, particularly in the capital city of Minsk and other major cities like Gomel, Mogilev, and Vytisk. The population is ethnically diverse, with Belarusians being the largest ethnic group, followed by Russians, Poles, and Ukrainians. The official language is Belarusian, although Russian is also widely spoken. Belarus has a relatively low birth rate and an aging population, which is a concern for the long-term sustainability of the country's social and economic systems. Belarus has a rich and complex history that spans thousands of years. Archaeological evidence suggests that the region was inhabited by Indo-European tribes as early as the 4th millennium BCE. During the 9th to 12th centuries, Belarus was part of the Kievan Rus Federation, a medieval state that encompassed much of modern-day Ukraine and Russia. In the late 13th century, the Mongols invaded and ruled over the region for several centuries. In the late 1400s, the Grand Duchy of Lithuania and later the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth controlled Belarus. During this period, the Belarusian language and culture were suppressed by the Polish authorities. In the late 1700s, Belarus became part of the Russian Empire following the partition of the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth. During World War I and the Russian Revolution, Belarus suffered greatly, with much of its territory being occupied by German forces. After the Bolshevik victory in the Russian Civil War, Belarus became part of the Soviet Union. During World War II, the country was invaded and occupied by Nazi Germany, leading to widespread death and destruction. After the war, Belarus became a republic within the Soviet Union. Following the collapse of the Soviet Union in 1991, Belarus declared independence and became its own sovereign state. The country has since been ruled by authoritarian leader Alexander Lukashenko, who has been in power since 1994. Despite efforts by the international community to encourage democratization, the country remains one of the last autocracies in Europe. After declaring independence in 1991, Belarus faced many challenges in its transition to a market economy and democratic society. Despite initial progress in economic reform and the establishment of a new constitution, the government soon became dominated by authoritarian elements, and political opposition was suppressed. Alexander Lukashenko has been in power as the country's first president since 1994, and has been re-elected several times in elections that have been criticized as neither free nor fair by international observers. Despite widespread protests and international pressure, Lukashenko has refused to step down and has been accused of suppressing opposition, curtailing civil liberties, and violating human rights. In terms of its economy, Belarus has a mixed system with elements of state control and private enterprise. The country is heavily dependent on Russia, both for energy imports and as its main trading partner. However, the government has made some efforts to diversify its economy and attract foreign investment, particularly in the areas of IT and biotechnology. Culturally, Belarus has a rich heritage, with a strong literary tradition and a vibrant folk culture. The country is also known for its architecture, including beautiful churches and castles, as well as its natural beauty, with forests, lakes, and rivers. Despite its cultural richness, however, the government has been criticized for suppressing cultural expression and limiting freedom of speech. Overall, 
Belarus continues to face many challenges as it navigates its path towards a more democratic and prosperous future. The country's complex history and political situation make it a unique and fascinating subject for study and reflection. The culture and heritage of Belarus are rich and diverse, reflecting its history and geography as a land at the crossroads of Europe and Asia. One of the most important cultural traditions in Belarus is its folk music and dance, which have roots in the country's rural communities. Traditional folk instruments, such as the zelika, a type of reed pipe, the dudka, a type of flute, and the cymbal, a percussion instrument, are still played and enjoyed by many people in the country. Additionally, there are many regional styles of folk music and dance, each with its own unique character and history. Literature has also been an important part of Belarusian culture for centuries, with a long tradition of oral storytelling and written works that reflect the country's history and values. The 19th and 20th centuries saw a revival of the Belarusian language and culture, and many prominent writers and poets emerged, including Yanka Kupala and Jakub Kolis, who are widely regarded as the founders of modern Belarusian literature. Belarusian architecture is also noteworthy, with many beautiful churches and castles that reflect the country's historical and cultural heritage. In particular, the country is famous for its wooden architecture, including unique wooden churches, houses, and windmills that are found throughout the countryside. Despite its rich cultural heritage, however, the government of Belarus has been criticized for suppressing cultural expression and limiting freedom of speech. Many artists, writers, and intellectuals have faced censorship and repression, and cultural institutions have been controlled and influenced by the government. Despite these challenges, the culture and heritage of Belarus remain an important part of the country's identity and an expression of its people's creativity, resilience, and spirit. These traditions continue to be cherished by the people of Belarus, and are an important source of pride and inspiration for the country's future. Belarus is a country with a rich natural beauty, and there are many breathtaking places to visit. Here are some of the most beautiful and notable places in the country. Brest. The city of Brest is famous for its impressive fortifications, including the Brest Fortress, a symbol of Belarusian resistance during World War II. The city also boasts several beautiful parks, including the Brest Botanical Garden, which is one of the largest and most diverse in Eastern Europe. Mir Castle. This medieval castle, located in the town of Mir, is one of the most impressive examples of Renaissance architecture in Belarus. The castle is surrounded by a moat and a park, and its interior is beautifully restored, with ornate halls, intricate carvings, and stunning stained glass windows. Belovetskaya Pushcha National Park. This vast nature reserve, located in western Belarus, is one of the largest and most pristine areas of forest in Europe. It is home to a rich diversity of wildlife, including bison, elk, and many species of birds. The park is also famous for its historic role in the development of European conservation, as it was the site of the first ever international treaty for the protection of nature, signed in the 16th century. Nesvizh Castle. This magnificent Renaissance castle, located in the town of Nesvizh, is one of the most beautiful and well-preserved in Eastern Europe. The castle is surrounded by a moat and a park, and its interior is adorned with stunning frescoes, intricate carvings, and beautiful furniture. Braslau Lakes. This group of glacial lakes. The economy of Belarus is a mixed system, with elements of state control and private enterprise. The country has a diverse range of industries, including agriculture, manufacturing, and services. The country's main exports are machinery, chemicals, and food products. Despite its potential, the economy of Belarus has faced many challenges in recent years, including a reliance on Russia for energy imports and as its main trading partner, as well as corruption and a lack of structural reform. The government has made some efforts to diversify the economy and attract foreign investment, particularly in the areas of IT and biotechnology. In recent years, the economy of Belarus has also been impacted by political uncertainty and sanctions imposed by the international community in response to the government's repression of opposition and human rights abuses. As a result, the country has struggled with inflation, 
a lack of foreign investment, and a shortage of hard currency. Despite these challenges, the government has been able to maintain stability in the economy through a combination of state control and support from international organizations, such as the International Monetary Fund IMF. In recent years, there have also been some efforts to liberalize the economy and improve the business climate, although progress has been slow. Overall, the economy of Belarus remains a work in progress, and the country faces many challenges as it seeks to achieve greater economic prosperity and competitiveness in the global marketplace. However, the country's rich natural resources, skilled workforce, and strategic location make it an attractive destination for foreign investment, and many believe that with the right policies and reforms, the country has the potential to achieve significant economic growth in the years to come. Travel Tips and Guide to Belarus If you're planning a trip to Belarus, here are some tips and information that can help make your visit more enjoyable and stress-free. Visa Requirements Depending on your nationality, you may need to obtain a visa before entering Belarus. Make sure to check the visa requirements for your country before you travel, and allow enough time to obtain the necessary documents. Currency The official currency in Belarus is the Belarusian ruble. You can exchange money at banks and exchange offices, but it's recommended to carry cash as credit card acceptance is limited in some parts of the country. Language The official language of Belarus is Belarusian, but most people speak Russian as well. English is not widely spoken, so it's a good idea to learn some basic phrases or bring a Russian or Belarusian language dictionary. Transportation. Belarus has a well-developed transportation system, with trains and buses connecting the major cities. Taxis are widely available, but it's recommended to use only licensed taxi companies to avoid overcharging and scams. Accommodation. There is a wide range of accommodation options in Belarus, from budget-friendly hostels to luxury hotels. Book your accommodation in advance to ensure availability, especially during peak tourist season. Food and drink. Belarusian cuisine is hearty and flavorful, with dishes such as droniki, potato pancakes, machenka, stew, and jir, soup, being popular. You'll also find plenty of international dining options in the larger cities. Safety. Belarus is generally considered a safe country, but as with any destination, it's always a good idea to be aware of your surroundings and take standard safety precautions, such as avoiding carrying large amounts of cash and valuables. Respect local customs. Belarus is a culturally rich country, and it's important to respect local customs and traditions while visiting. This includes dressing modestly when visiting religious sites, avoiding public displays of affection, and being mindful of your behavior in public places. With these tips in mind, you'll be well prepared for your trip to Belarus and can make the most of your time in this beautiful country.